I'm going to show you how to import a different map onto the Gaia uh, GPS app. When you first get it, this is going to be the world imagery that you get. It looks a little bit old. Uh, when you zoom in, it improves and gets better, but it's not a very crisp look. I'm going to show you how you download this Google Satellite Hybrid, which looks like this. <clears throat> it's a lot clearer picture and a lot more up to date and it's done in a few simple easy steps. Okay to begin you'll have to log into the GaiaGPS.com this is where you will import the other map layer. Once you get logged in then you'll click on your username or your, your email there and then you'll go down to map sources. Once you're there, you'll click Import an External Map Source. And then here's where you'll give it the name. I like to give it the name Google Satellite Hybrid. That is the name that's closest to what the actual map is. And that just helps me remember what, what the map layer is. Next, you have to paste a link in here that will pull up the map. I will paste the link below in the comments so that you can have it, but this is the link that you'll want to use. So you'll copy that and paste it in here, just like that. All of these are other maps that come from this website, things to look at. They have a few videos and some more information on Gaia GPS if you want to uh, explore that more and they also have all the links on here as well um, with some other information so anyways that's where I got that from it uh, works great it is pretty quick and easy this is a note here to take into um, consideration if you're an Android user you might need to use the HTTPS instead of the HTTP on some of these other ones. Shouldn't be a problem with this one that we're on because it is the HTTPS. Anyways, you go back to the website and once you've done that, you can change your zoom in level. Now here you can see the different levels that you zoom in at. This is zooming in at 16. Now this won't really matter what you put it at, but I just like to put it at the most, so if I want to be able to zoom in on something really well, it gives me that ability. Um, so you can go from usually between 1 to 19. I think you can even go up to 21 on this. Let's you really zoom in more so you can see the cars there. Not necessary. Uh, you don't really have to do it that much, but it's totally up to you. This will just limit the amount you can zoom in later. So the higher you go now, the more capabilities you'll have with it later. Once you have that decided, then you'll scroll to the very bottom and click Add This Map Source. Now I'm going to rename this so that I can take it off later, but I'll just show you what it does. Once you hit Add This Map Source, it'll bring up this as it's successfully added. Let's go back to the app and I will show you how to access it from there. Okay, if you have the app already open, it will be best to completely close the app out and then open it again. That will help refresh it so that it will pull up the new information you put on there. Then you go to map layers. You can see it's already up there. Um, on the active for me but if it's not it will typically be down here under your inactive if not you can hard close the app and open it up again if that doesn't work you can go under settings and under account and push last sync and that will sync it up and it should add it in there if not it might just take a minute to get refreshed 
but that's how you'll get that in there so that you can have a better map instead of having this really old one that works but just doesn't look as good when you're zooming in and out. So that's how it's done.